a big fan of grifts these days. I don't know what it is about me, but since I've realized that there's people out there who are basically looking to get scammed, there is a certain segment of our population that just believes anything they see on the internet, super naive, super gullible, and just willing and ready to give their hard-earned money to people at the faintest level of a promise. But this is a weird one because this comes from like the TikTok, Instagram-y type of world thing, right? Because I feel like TikTok at the moment has kind of replaced Facebook in its ability to kind of appeal to like boomers and whatever else, right? They seem to kind of love to share some of their conspiracy theories and stories and whatnot on that on those apps and stuff and for whatever reason when people speak about certain things especially on tiktok people seem to think just because a person's speaking you know on like a green screen filter reading an article and something that somehow it makes what they're saying more legit because they're reading i don't know it's just a strange place anyway so the latest grift at the moment that i just saw on twitter that someone posted was this it says i guess it was only a matter of time before the anti-glasses grift became a thing this community is so hell bent on having a con uh, contrarian opinion on every incredible scientific invention. So there's an anti glasses grift. And as the name will suggest, it's pe people, or the, in this case, this woman, suggesting a course or a way, you know, a way of thinking that won't need, that won't require you to have glasses. So basically, you can think the glasses away. You can think away short sightedness, think away long sightedness, whatever it may be, or far sightedness, sorry. You can think it will away and it will eventually go away. You don't need to have actual glasses. Glasses are like a social construct or something. Absolutely not. So let's see what she has to say, the woman herself, in this clip below. What's the one thing that your optometrist doesn't want you to know about? The fact that you do not need glasses. <laughs> that's right. You may have been told that you need glasses, Jesus. but that's actually a lie. There are mental, emotional, physical, and even spiritual reasons why you may not be seeing. And I'm here to tell you that that can be healed. If you want to learn more, read the comments. What's the one... What an insane grift. What an insane grift. So let's continue on. I want to actually read the young lady's thread and see what happened on this course because imagine somebody saying they can correct your vision just through the power of thinking. It kind of smells like, you know, evangelical churches, Baptist churches trying to pray the gay away, trying to pray for money, for jobs, for good results, for sporting achievement. That's, that, I remember actually being in church. That's the one time I, I think I had to doubt things when I was praying with her. I was, hold on, because at that time I was playing football. I was like, hold on, if I... If I pray to God for my team to win, then what's, what's stopping the other guy from doing the same thing from the opposite side? And who's God going to choose? How to make the decision? That's when I immediately start thinking, okay, it's something a bit weird about this idea of like, okay, I should win, others should lose, or just look out for me and not anybody else type, you know, type of uh, prayer. Anyway, let's see what she said here. So it's a screenshot of her laptop, or sorry, a picture of her laptop that I guess shows some of the the bits and pieces that she's doing by being on this course. This lady, she says at the top, she paid $11 for a vision healing masterclass. So you don't have to, um, this is my Saturday afternoon cartoons, right? And you see the pit, uh, a screenshot of the class she's on, it's like a Zoom class. And the lady looks kind of crazy, let's be fair, right? Like woo-woo ladies have a particular look um, about them and she definitely is a warm looking person somebody that probably make you a hell of a sandwich but she's also very very kooky nutty looking to be fair very very nutty looking so let's see what the course actually entailed the first screenshot here we got is called um legal disclaimer i'm not a pharma doctor or medical advisor this is for holistic educational and empowerment purposes imagine being empowered to see holistic seeing absolutely insane the next tweet Samantha has clarified that we will not be learning how the eyes work, but did direct us to an Andrew Huberman YouTube video um, <laughs> to watch later. Also, apparently, these medical reasons are not root causes, only diagnosis. Plot and twist. Now we can change our eye color. I look forward to becoming a blue eyed skeptic. So if you not only is she saying she can heal your eyes via the power of thinking and positive intention, she's now saying she can actually change the color of your eyes through positive intentions like excuse me it continues she said at the start that she had four hours of material for a two-hour masterclass, but it's been 30 minutes and we haven't been taught anything tangible yet 
We're just reading testimonials and one is from her husband. <laughs> Use your husband as a testimonial. It's fucking wild. So we've got a couple of testimonies here on the screen. We've got a testimony from Alex. On one bit, she said she's a freelance graphic designer, wasn't fulfilled. Relationship was a mismatch. And then now she's a transformational coach. She's very fulfilled. <laughs> wasn't fulfilled. Now I'm very fulfilled. She had no money. Now she's got abundance. She couldn't see herself. Now she sees herself clearly. She felt lost. Now she feels clear. Um, wanted to be seen and is seen and loved by many. It's so funny, man. It's like it's like it's written by a fucking 15-year-old. Um, another one, so a person called Lando. It's probably a husband, I'm assuming. Parent sister wear glasses, prescribed at 16 years of age, started wearing them, but then started to question um, rebel archetype. <laughs> humans describing themselves as archetypes in like real life without irony will always make me laugh decided that he he would see without them named best vision in the military is that a thing there's a there's an award for having the best vision how do they grade that they just hold a book up right at the end of the field and you're meant to kind of read the title or something still has 2020 and so still has 2010 vision in his 40s okay whatever he says there and then says okay this is a this is this just got fucked there's a screen here that says, do not, put, do not put essential oils in your eyes. Oh, so I was right then. There was a bit where you're meant to put this oil in your eye. Okay, let's see what it says here. My little brother's story. Um, he had a nail fatal car accident a week after his 30th birthday. There's always some, there's always some fucking Disney, Disneyfication of some people's trauma. Um, he was told by doctors that he wouldn't live. Um, if lived, he would be. <laughs> so if he lived, I was not if lived. If he lived, he'd be a vegetable, and he would never see or walk again. Oh, obviously, put the see before the walk because you know people want to see first. Um, he was in a coma for more than a month. I was with him in the first few days. He woke up. We got him on a healing plan. So she was the perfect sister. She was there when the brother had the accident. Um, dropped everything, stayed with him for the first couple of days, and then gave him the oils. You know, when the doctor's backs were turned, she fucking opened his eyes and poured yours into him. I was thinking, what is this here? Mind, power, and visualization, healthy diet, no, I could know it's hospital food, essential oils around the eyes. Around the eyes, not in the eyes, around. Fucking hell, two times a day, surrounded by love and full faith. So if you surround yourself with love, good things happen to you, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> this is quintessential woo i fucking love it it's official this is the whole reason of this master class um obviously this they're showing the fucking oil again from um immortelli um it continues again i have a few um, do you have a hard truth statistically you have some questions on the last screen presentation is over and we're starting a q a which is just to remind everybody that she's not an expert on iHealth.